What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description. Hit them up right now. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My T video. And guys, today we are going to go over the best MT making method right now in NBA 2K21 My Team. Before we get to it, guys, smash that like button, drop the sub. If you are new, you can also member up to the channel. Right after this video, man, we are going to do a stream, a giant stream on all-time domination, man. It's freaking difficult as hell. As you guys can see right here on this game, I freaking got two stars, so... Right after this, man, stay tuned for a stream. We're going to go over the best MT methods, man. Likes, 100 likes on the video would be greatly appreciated. We're also going to do MT giveaways on Twitter as long as we hit some like goals. So make sure to smash that like button if you are new. And uh, yeah, let's get into the MT methods. I realize that are very, very solid. I've made solid MT off of it. And as you guys can see, I have 427,000 MT. So if you guys want to listen to me, you can. If you don't, it's up to you, man. As you can see, I have a lot of MT. But let's get into it, man. One of the best. Here it is. The first snipe of the day. This guy, Dort, man, he is going for a whopping 3,700 MT. He pops up all the time. That was a little snipe, but we're going to make a solid amount of MT. I would say about 400 MT clean right there after the reduction and whatnot. I wish there was no reduction, but we're going to go over some season agendas, okay? Why? People look for these, okay? One, for instance, man, OG on Kenobi, whatever the hell his name is. Him and Robert Covington are players in season agendas that people will want to buy. So now, if you do look at their prices, you will see that they are decently high priced in value. Besides this Roko, he's actually not that expensive. Let's check out the other card. Um, let's check out one card. Okay, so if you go to season agendas, Pedisto Djokovic is one of the high rare tier cards that is actually going for a pretty, pretty decent amount. So let's go over his price, man. I know the other day I bought him for 7,500. And as you guys can see right there, man, Pedis Djokovic is 8,000 MT. Now, if I were you, I would most likely hop up on this filter because he is going to go for a pretty, pretty decent amount for a while because <clears throat> he has a solo challenges that gets you high XP. What does high XP get you? Closer to Stephen Curry, okay? So using these season agendas, you can make lots of MT. I would recommend sniping the Dort. I would recommend sniping the Covington. And now the Pedras the Djokovic. There is one more player in that moments card. There is 10 points with a Clippers player in Unlimited. So, okay, that's not bad. We got that one. So let's just go through these, man. We got Jimmy Butler. Score 30 points with Jimmy Butler. I'm pretty sure this one's new over multiple Unlimited games. So we can check out his price. Grab nine rebounds with Westbrook. That was not rare. It's more towards the rarity of silver cards, okay? Silver, bronze, gold cards, whatever you can get. So make three three-pointers with Tyler Hero, okay? This one's kind of hard. Let's check out his price. Maybe we get a quick snipe on the guy Tyler Hero. Let's go check out what's going on. Also, guys, another update. Sell your cards as soon as you can. There's literally, literally so much MT to be made. So as you guys can see, Tyler Hero is very expensive he's at 4000 mt for a silver so if i were you man check out these filters right here 3600 people know he's going for expensive amounts so they're throwing them up right there 3600 mt not a bad price you want to try to get them for at least 500 500 mt less because you can make a solid 200 mt off the reduction don't forget there is a 10 percent reduction in this game so every snipe you do get is going to get you screwed because of the reduction so make sure you know what you're doing okay um another one we did it already mike bibby and jeff t they're going for decent amounts of mt people will buy them there is actually a high value in these cards people actually do want to buy these cards so mike bibby man as you can see he's going for a quick but a quick bit of mt so you want to go over to him man and as you guys can see he's around 9,000 mt why because his xp is easy peasy to get he should have a couple snipes i actually did end up sniping him for 5900 mt i did the season xp thing and now we are going to try to snipe him again and again and again so definitely try out this method man mike bibby as you can see one did just get posted for 8300 we cannot make profit because of that 10 percent reduction but you guys get the gist man some mike bibbies might get thrown off for 5000 mt 
And you never know. Let's go over the next one, man. Jeff T, another one. Rashad Lewis is also another one. So we're going to go over the Jeff T. We're going to go over the Rashad Lewis, in which my Rashad Lewis card is actually up. I sold him last night for 9,000 MT because of those solo challenges. I actually got him for 5K. I got two of them for 5K. Pulled one of them. So I got three altogether. And we ended up selling him for 9,000 MT as well as this Jeff T. He's going for around 3,000 MT. He is a sapphire he's actually a very good card he plays very well he has decent badges he's somewhat fast but for 2900 mt most likely man there will be a couple snipes on this card not gonna lie and as you can see one of them is in my collection 2900 mt for a sapphire guys if you do have this card make sure to sell them let's check out the one and only jimmy butler who also bam abadadayo has also has what's it called he also has an evo or a, a duo with jimmy butler so i feel like jimmy butler's price might be around like three thousand, as you guys can see 30 points of jimmy butler and unlimited a lot of people are using sapphires this car is somewhat valuable as well so pretty much all these cars i'm showing you is what you guys want to be sniping right now this is how you're going to make the most mt not only that you could do a domination game come out check all the filters i just showed you and if you get lucky, you get lucky, man. You're going to make a decent amount of MT off it. That seems like a snipe, man. 3,100 MT. Seems like we're going to make a decent amount. So he's 3,700 MT. We're going to put him up for 3,650. Like Luke Dort, we're going to make another 300 MT. So, so far, I'm going to make around 1,000 MT off this video. Not even trying. Not even really focusing on those filters, okay? Not only that, man. Some other methods. We're going to go over here, man. Um, Sapphire filter in general is going to be money all year. Not only that. If you do have cars in your collection that are sapphires and whatnot, you could have, they could drop more season challenges. So those cars that are in your collection, not you're not using, could possibly potentially go up, and you can make more MT. So that's another tip I got for you. Some cars in your collection might get season agendas, in which they will get more value. That's why it all depends. If you have a goal going for like 500 MT and you want to sell them, just hold on to them. Some of the goals in this game are not going for a lot. And then one more, guys. Rashad Lewis, man. The market's very high right now. So we're going to have a video on that as well. And then last but not least, man. Rashad Lewis, he's going for a whopping like 10K. I ended up selling both of mine last night for 9K. He's up even more because his challenge is kind of easy. It's not too hard. Wow, Rashad Lewis is up big time from what I sold him for. He's up to 14,900, guys. He's very expensive. And then one more card. Rick Schmitty. He's actually very expensive too because of DVG's video. So let's see, man. Oh, he actually dropped a lot. So it looks like Rashad Lewis did end up taking Rich Schmidt's value. But yeah, ooh, 3,900. Yeah, that's gone. But yeah, other than that, man, that's really all we got for the video. Hope you guys definitely enjoyed, man. Stay tuned for more content. We got a ton more content coming. We got a stream right after this video on YouTube as well. Other than that, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more. Peace.